Okay, please um, tell me a few words about your mother because I know that your mother was uh, a dancer and... Oh, uh, uh, yeah, mom. Mom was... She uh, worked in the... Apollo Theater. Yeah, she worked yeah. in the Apollo yep. Theater. She uh, she worked she worked in clubs and uh, she sang uh, and she danced uh, and uh, she was ah uh, I don't know she was she was the queen of my life. What can I tell you? Um, everybody. She was the kind of woman that everybody came to for advice because at some point when she stopped when she started having children. Uh, she decided, well, uh, okay, I can have a nanny raise my kids, or I can raise my kids. And she, being the old-fashioned woman that she was, decided that um, show business was going to take a back seat for, to her children. And um, so, uh, but she still maintained her friendship with the showbiz community. And people used to come by the crib, you know, and they'd hang out, and, I'd, and, I'd, and I'm supposed to be sleeping, right? and I got my ear to the wall and I'm listening to them talk about the old days and you know playing those old records and uh, you know. Is that Bill true that Billie Holiday was uh, Yeah, around? Billie Holiday was a personal friend of hers and um, and actually uh, I remember my mother told me she said when I was born uh, because Billy desired children very much but because of a childhood uh, rape uh, that destroyed her ability mm -hmm. to bear children, she couldn't have any. And when my mother had, had me, she was excited for her, and so she came right before a performance that she had at the Apollo, and she had to see the new baby. And so uh, <laughs> she took me and she put me in her arms and all this kind of stuff. My mom told me this, okay, I was too young to remember it. And she said, uh, she was petting me and everything, and I, threw up on this silk ball gown and she always wore a corsage in her hair. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a picture where she has this corsage right here. <laughs> and I guess that was my gift to Billy for that show. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I, I, met, I met so many wonderful people, I mean, through my mom, you know. Um, and I mean, you know, it's like the last thing my mother wanted me to be was in show business, you know. She, she, uh, she sent me to uh, one of the best um, Catholic schools. Her idea was to get me into a seminary and make mm -hmm. a priest of me. <laughs> Mom, I'm sorry, but uh, you know. So I, uh, well, I took another calling because in a way, I think that music is a very spiritual thing, so. What do you understand by this this is supposed to be addressed to some of my fellow compatriots who are fond with the music. What do you understand by musical education and musical instruction? So what is your, how do you perceive this syntax when you hear musical education? What's musical education from your point of view? Musical education is, for me, an opportunity to open your ears to the sounds that enrich your heart that that give that, that 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 give music to the experience of everyday life it is a way of seeing and understanding that which you can't say this is something that communicates beyond language wonderful wonderful um, will you play something for us oh. if we kindly ask you hey, it would be my great privilege my Rock and roll. Don't rush, don't rush. Sugar blue. Gentlemen, let's play some blues. One, two, three, four.
to see. Woo-hoo. I call that the blues for Obama. Woo-hoo. Thank you. 